what's up everyone? Welcome to Pound for Pound TV. This is Michael and it's been a while, but I'm back! Saturday the 15th of April, the Copper Box Arena, London, UK will host the clash between two behemoths vying for a shot at a major heavyweight title and potentially an undisputed shot, depending on what happens between Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury. I am talking about some tall timber. I am talking about two walking redwoods. I am talking about Joe Joyce and Zilei Zhang. Joyce will be looking to hold on to his WBO interim belt, a belt that he so emphatically earned in a KO victory over Kiwi Joseph Parker. And as for Zhang, well, he'll be looking to not only snatch the title from Joyce's firm grip, but could be looking to do so brutally and authoritatively, sending a message to the other heavyweights, but also the judges letting them know, hey, I'm not leaving it up to you guys again, not after what happened last time. Joe the Juggernaut Joyce is a man that I have covered before and a man that I have only bet against once, just once, and that was the last time against Joseph Parker. Give me a break on that one because the former WBO champ Parker was on a six fight winning streak, more experienced going into the fight and surrounded by a winning team in Andy Lee and Tyson Fury. And I thought I detected a little more dog in him than the previous more gun shy Parker of all. But I should have known better because the juggernaut does what the juggernaut does best. He just keeps coming and coming and punching and punching. In my breakdown of that fight, I even said this was going to be a big problem for Parker. At least on that point, I was right. Joyce's pressure is a problem for anyone. It's not just the endless reserve of gas that is summoned up almost infinitely like a cowboy after a tin of Heinz baked beans. Yeah. Yeah. How about some more beans, Mr. Tiger? I'd say you've had enough. <laughs> It's not just the sledgehammer-like power that he possesses, but it's his granite chin also. In his bout with Daniel Dubois only a short few years ago, we saw Joyce get hit clean a number of times, and yet still he kept coming forward. Daniel Dynamite Dubois up until he met Joyce had knocked or stopped every opponent bar one in his 15 fights prior. Getting punched by Dubois must be tantamount to falling face first in an IED, but apparently Joyce was unperturbed. A chin like George Chevalo, power like George Foreman, and a gas tank like Marciano, who didn't stop charging forward and punching until the final bell. It's hard to imagine at the moment anyone stopping a force like Joyce. Frustrating to watch at times, it's as if Joyce is fighting in slow motion, but somehow his punches land. Keeping those hands cocked up high, they travel shorter distances when he lets them rip, and I guess speed is not required if the power generated on such a short commute from the station to the opponent's face is able to break through guards. Then is it any wonder that 14 of his 15 professional fights have ended in one form of stoppage or another? No losses, no draws. Will Zilei Zhang be the first man to give the 37-year-old Joyce his inaugural professional L? Zilei Big Bang Zhang is one heck of a charismatic fella, I don't mind saying. Both he and Joyce are likeable and funny guys, but bring different energies to this fight. Whereas Joyce is a little more placid and even bashful at times. Big Bang is certainly the more outgoing showman of the two, and the two contrasting personalities only complement the fight that is already intriguing, particularly to the boxing enthusiasts. Both men are confident fighters. Joyce carries that inwardly, where Zhang exudes that confidence outwardly. Both men are big hitters, like to come forward and are durable. And we will revisit this point shortly as I do believe this bout will be all about whose chin will hold up the best. However, there are subtle and nuanced things at play here. Zhang likes to stalk his opponents closing down on them, but not always looking to strike first. By being in close range, he's looking for his opponent to throw something. He's looking for something to react to, to time and to counter incoming traffic. Fighting out of the southpaw stance, Zhang will look to time and employ that menacing backhand down the middle or lead hand counter hook when Joyce throws out a jab from his orthodox position. It's a successful weapon for Zhang and he uses it to great effect. His shots carry thudding power and when they land, they tend to get a reaction. This is when Zhang goes in, throwing combinations together, hitting the head and body in equal measure. 
with some pace on him too, I might add. He is cerebral and understands that widening the target area breaks his opponent down sooner, something he can exploit. 19 of his 24 victories come by way of KO and TKO. Zhang's only two blemishes on his record is a solitary loss to his last opponent, Filip Hugovic, whereupon the general consensus of those that watch the fight believe the wrong man had his hand raised on the night. The other blemish is a draw to Jerry Forrest. In that fight, Zhang was suffering from kidney failure among other health issues and still managed to draw. Zhang has proven that it's circumstance and not his ability that has failed him whenever he stumbled in his pro career. So will bad fate intervene yet again? If I'm wrong, I'm happy to stuff sardines down my budgie smugglers and go skipping through a penguin enclosure. But I did mention earlier that this fight will come down to who's got the better beard. Zhang will look to get a reaction from Joyce, but unless he catches Joyce completely off guard and by surprise, I don't think he can hurt him. I don't think he can tire him out either. Just like Chevalo, Joyce has never touched the canvas as a pro. Zhang has. I like Zhang. It's heavyweight boxing and just one punch can change everything. But I am picking Joyce to win. The ref will intervene and we'll see a TKO in the late rounds. Remember to jab that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Check out our Patreon page to become a Patreon family member where you will receive some cool perks. If you're looking for some new threads, we've got t-shirts, hoodies, and much, much more. So head on over to our Michael A. Kobe Pound for Pound TV stores. They can be found on Redbubble and Spreadshop. Join me on my travels and head on over to my other YouTube channel titled Barefoot and Free. There you can follow me as I traverse the many parts of our planet and occasionally get into a spot of bother. Nonetheless, it's always fun and entertaining. If you're struggling with some of life's obstacles and challenges, my book, How to Get Out of Life Traps, might just be the answer that you're looking for to help guide you through the difficult times. It's helped many get past some of their darkest moments and it might do the same for you. You can purchase it on Amazon where you can also find a wide range of my other works. Those works include screenplay to book adaptations, a fairly unique concept with genres covering comedy, heist and revenge, drama, supernatural and crime, if that's more your cup of tea. You can find them by following the link provided. Thank you for watching Pound for Pound TV. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future updates. See you in the next one.